Ladies and gentlemen, Gregory Peck. The world never seems as fresh and wonderful, as comforting and terrifying, as good and evil, as it does when seen through the eyes of a child. For a writer to capture that feeling is remarkable. Perhaps that is why one book in the last few years has been so warmly embraced by tens of millions of people. To Kill a Mockingbird, winner of the Pulitzer Prize and just about every other award a book can win. And now, happily, To Kill a Mockingbird becomes a motion picture, and its memorable characters come vividly alive. That Scout, some people call her Jean Louise Finch, but she insists on Scout. That's her brother, Jim, just a boy until the day he learns there is evil in the world. And Atticus Finch, the father, whose devotion to justice places him and his children in jeopardy. I've been appointed to defend Tom Robinson. Now that he's been charged, that's what I intend to do. You've taken his to excuse me, Mr. Ewell. What kind of man are you? You got children of your own. Atticus, Jim says his watch is going to belong to him someday. That's right. What are you going to give me? There's a pearl necklace. There's a ring that belonged to your mother. You want to tell us what really happened? I got something to say. And if you ain't going to do nothing about it, then you're just a bunch of lousy, yellow, stinking cowards. <laughs>